Yo, what is happening? My name is Abden. Welcome back to a brand new episode of the Let's Play series. This is episode 21, and today we are going to be transforming the base into a bustling city, adding streetlights, city decorations, signs, and as promised in the last episode, we will be doing a massive road expansion to take this base to the next level. I cannot wait to see how it turns out, so without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Alrighty guys, so to begin, we are actually going to be expanding our land. Now, this is a little bit frightening to do because this expanding land is so expensive. I think we're up to like 50,000 per plot of land, and I'm thinking in this episode we are going to be expanding it three plots so that's gonna be pretty expensive yeah that's 51,000 and it goes up 3,000 every single time so I have bad news for this little tree we are going to have to expand our land onto it I, I think it will survive yeah it'll survive uh oh shoot no no Oh no, this glitch again. Okay, so I'm not going to try expanding my land again because we totally just got scammed out of 50,000 lumber bucks. It totally just took my money and ran with it. So yeah, we're not going to be expanding our land in this server. Unfortunately, that glitch is still happening and the land store is still scamming people. So we may have to go into a private server to try expanding our land, but that even that doesn't even always work. You just have to find the right server that will let you expand your land without it stealing all of your money. Kind of a really, really dumb glitch, and I'm not sure why it's still around, but I guess it is. So I guess we can't expand our land quite yet. It's a good thing that I am super rich right now, otherwise I would have been super, super pissed that we just lost all of that money. 50000 is quite a bit of money, especially to just lose trying to expand your land. It's a good thing that I didn't try that again because I'm almost certain that it would have taken my money again. But anyways, we are just going to hop straight into the city decorations. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn my truck and for the first city decoration, we're gonna need some cherry wood. So there's a good tree right over here, so let's go ahead and just process this out and get it in our truck. But anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and auto unload real quick and get these into the sawmill system. And those will go up and get chopped and I'm just going to leave my truck right there so we can get all of that wood accumulating right in my truck, which is exactly what I want. And then over here I'm going to just grab some elm wood. And now we just gotta cross our fingers that this is gonna be enough cherry wood. That we're actually gonna be filling in a ton of tiny tiles for this. So that's going to be a little bit frightening. I'm not sure if that's gonna work all the way. Let's just go ahead and unclog this. Looks like there was a piece of blue spruce just sitting there. That should go up into the sorter system. So let's put that on the conveyor to go up there. And now I'm basically just going to spam a bunch of tiny tiles because we're gonna need a ton of these. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cross my fingers that that will be enough. And now I'm going to go over here to the shop. This is basically just going to be a shop sign, except it's going to be super cool, I promise you guys. So yeah, I'm just going to place a tiny floor right here and then a small tile right here. We want it to be in like this and we want there to be a gap in the middle right here. So basically just two tiles like so and that will basically be the inside for our sign. So this is what we needed the elm wood for. Let's go ahead and fill all of these in with some elm wood. Okay, just like that almost. I'm trying to, I, I have a very weird grasp on this piece, but that actually worked out perfectly because it gave me a crazy range. Anyways, let's go ahead and start on these tiny tiles. So we're basically just going to be building a border around this. And again, we're just kind of crossing our fingers that we're going to have enough cherry wood for this. 
Okay, guys, I have put on some top and bottom bars. I'm just going to add the sides and all of this is going to be double layered. So we're just going to basically build this and then build it again, but on top of it. Alrighty, guys, I got one sidebar on and now we just got to do the other side. Oops, I just placed that wrong. Let's just use this guy as a step stool. And that should be the last blueprint for the first layer. And now we're just going to double layer this entire thing. And looking at it, uh, we're definitely not going to have enough cherry wood for this, which is, I was pretty confident that we were going to have enough. But yeah, this is definitely not enough. Okay, so like I said, we're just going to double layer it. Just putting another layer of tiles on those. And would you look at that, we have just ran out of cherry wood, so we're gonna have to go grab a few more logs. Okay, I think I might have gotten too much. This is definitely gonna be more than we need. Oh, there we go, we got some wood coming through. And this will definitely be enough cherry wood to cover the rest of what we need for this sign. Alrighty guys, we are down to the last tiny tile and just like that we have done the framing although I do want to kind of try something real quick I just want to add something to the top and bottom I, I wonder if this is gonna look good I'm not entirely sure but I mean I think it's gonna look good yeah that's just gonna add a little bit more shape to this sign I think that looks pretty cool and yeah, just like that, we have finished the sign. Well, it's not much of a sign right now. We need to go grab some wires. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So we're going to need four wires on each side, which is going to be eight wires total. Although we also want a support at the top. So that's going to be nine wires. So that's one. That's two, three, four, five, Six, and I'm actually gonna buy these because I'm scared that they're gonna despawn. Oh, one just despawned, so that was five now. Okay, six, seven, eight, and nine. Perfect, perfect. Let's get these back to the base and finish this sign. Alrighty, guys, we got our wires, so I'm just going to basically write the word shop on this, but vertical. Wish me luck. I can't guarantee that this is going to be the best wire art that I've ever done. And that S is actually taking up like half of the sign. We need four letters, so we're going to have to make this S smaller. Hopefully that's a good S. I don't know. It's very hard with the size limitations. Okay, there is an H. Uh, it's, it's looking a little bit stubby, but I think that's all we can do. I'm just going to build the P first, just so that we know how much space we have for the O. These letters are going to be so freaking stubby. That actually looks like a D. That is too stubby. I think making the letters a little bit less fat might help. Uh, yeah, that, that definitely helps. Okay, I have changed the H, so now it's a little bit less stubby. Hopefully that'll fix it a little bit. Let's just add the O and... Okay, that looks awful. One second. <laughs> okay, let's start off by changing this S. We're going to have to make it a little bit less detailed just so that we will have enough space. Hopefully that doesn't look too much like a 5. I think in the context of shop, it shouldn't look too much like a 5. Then we'll add our H right here. Okay, that'll definitely give me a lot more space to work with for the O. Okay. There is our O, and now we just gotta redo this P, and I think we should be good. Okay, there we go. Uh, it still looks pretty bad, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do about it. It is very hard to do. Um, I, I think it's good enough. Let's just do the other side and see if we can do a better job on the other side. Okay, there we go. That is the other side. I'm not sure which one I like more. Uh, I did a bit of a different design for the O just to make it a little bit less fat, but I now I, I think it's too small. I don't know what to do. This is hard. Okay, anyways, we have one more wire, and that's just going to be going from... Sorry, I gotta get off of this truck. It is like a seesaw right now with that guy on it. Let's go ahead and just place it, let's see, right here. 
I think that's good enough and we can just place that and there we go there is the side shop sign that is looking so amazing that really just livens up the shop to be honest okay so next we got to work on this conveyor right here I know like last episode I was going to do it I mean I said I was going to do it in the episode before that but I never got to it so this episode we're gonna have to do something about this cuz right now I really don't want anyone to get into the item storage cuz they can just glitch everything out and currently a major flaw with the design currently is that people can just hop right onto the conveyor and get straight in which is a little bit of a problem so we gotta figure out how to fix that and we also kind of need to figure out what we're doing over here because we kind of just destroyed the upstairs and we didn't really do anything to fix it so I'm gonna try to kind of organize things a little bit before we actually work on this I think I'm going to put a shelf like right over here or something. I think right here should work. Let's just go ahead and put a couple of tables on top of each other. And yeah, now we're just going to go ahead and organize everything. Alrighty guys, that is looking a lot better than it was, although we do need to figure out this table situation. I'm just gonna add some tables over here. Uh, hopefully that will free up some space a little bit, and now I'm just going to put these down here, actually. We got a place for these turkeys, and that's right here. Okay, now we are ready to figure out what we're doing with this weird situation with the conveyor. So, let's go ahead and put in some fat doors right here. Alrighty guys, I got a piece of oak wood. I figured that this is going to be the best wood to fill the fat door with since it will help blend into the wall of the item storage. But anyways, let's go ahead and close that. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. Now there is a little bit of a slot there. I wonder if that can be fixed. I don't know. And then in terms of accessing that door, I'm not sure how easy that's going to be. We could alternatively place it in like this. I don't know. This is very difficult. Okay, so if it's placed like this, the only way to open it is kind of very awkwardly try to get our camera through and then open it like that, which is not ideal. I think we're going to have to move these over a little bit. Okay, I've moved these over a little bit, and now it is much easier to put our camera through. So I think that's just the system we're going to have. It's not exactly ideal, but it is... I don't know. I'm, I'm lazy, okay? that's uh, I'm going to be honest. I'm just lazy. <laughs> but yeah, I think that will do the trick. That is all we really need. And I guess we could put one on the shop as well. We do have the wood for it right here. We're just going to do the same thing that we did with the item storage, making it the same wood as the walls just to make it blend in easier. Then I'm just going to go ahead and place that in like so. Now with both of these open, I guess it Z fights, but uh, it depends on which way they open. They can open into the shop and into the item storage, or they can both open that way. It's not that big of a deal. But yeah, anyways, now we got to make this alleyway look a little bit less weird because... As you can tell, it's it's kind of weird just having a random conveyor going through an alleyway. I don't think you'd ever see this in real life, so we gotta fix this. Now instead of try to hide it, I think it's always best to try to embrace it. Kind of like what we did with the hatches right here where it's kind of hidden, although it's also like very obvious that there's something here. I'm kind of thinking like a wooden support system that supports this entire system of conveyors. Kind of like a wooden aqueduct almost. But yeah, for that, uh, we're going to need some koa wood, 
which in order to get koa wood we're gonna have to go all the way over to the tropics biome but that is not that big of a deal because we actually also need some other things from the tropics biome like some gloomy seascape at dusk paintings aka the black paintings that make up the road we are going to be expanding the road as i said in the first part of this video so we are going to need to stock up on these gloomy paintings so we are going to have to take a trip to the tropics biome anyways i really don't want to miss the ferry right now come on ferry don't leave don't leave i don't know how much time i have i always have to cross my fingers that i'm not gonna miss it but okay we made it good good Let's see how close we were to missing it. Oh, okay. We were literally... <laughs> I went to ask when he was going to depart, and he literally just said, we are going to depart as soon as everyone purchased a ticket, which I already have a ticket, so I literally just asked him as he was going. <laughs> well, we made it just in time. Now we just got to kick back and relax and wait for ourselves to get over to the other side where we can get some gloomy paintings for the road and some koa wood for the alleyway alrighty guys we have made it over to the tropics biome now I do wanna go grab the gloomy paintings first still though I wanted to get a few of these just close-ish to the ferry so that they're there when we get back I'm just gonna hope that those aren't gonna despawn before we get back and now let's go grab some gloomy paintings I kinda of forgot just how expensive these gloomy paintings are that's 16,000 per painting I've actually already gone down to 3.1 million I remember at the start of the episode it was at 3.2 so we are going through money so fast so now we are under the 3 million mark so yeah, that's more than 250,000 lumber bucks that we just went through. These things are so expensive. I cannot express how expensive these are. Okay, guys. The truck is pretty much full at this point. And man, have we spent a lot of lumber bucks. We are down to 2.8 million lumber bucks which is quite a bit less than what we started with at the start of the episode with about 3.2 to 3.3 million lumber bucks. We have spent a lot this episode, so yeah, now we just gotta get all of these gloomy paintings back to the base and just hope, just cross our fingers that we don't lose connection and lose all of them. That would be the suckiest day ever. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Okay, we just gotta get out of this maze. Uh, I, I'm getting claustrophobic. Let's get out of here. Okay, guys, we are almost out, and it looks like it is now night. Yep, it is nighttime. Hopefully we can get back, and I'm almost certain that the ferry won't be there, but hopefully the ferry will be close to arriving. That should give us a little bit of time to get some koa wood over on the dock ready for the ferry's arrival. So let's see, how many paintings did we get? That's one, two, three, four. Okay, according to my counting, that is 22 or 24, I can't remember. <laughs> okay, I'm not very good at counting. Um, but yeah, 22, I'm gonna say paintings that is a lot of paintings hopefully that'll be enough to do some of the road i know that that road just consumes gloomy paintings like nobody's business in fact i'm almost certain that's not going to fulfill our needs but yeah looks like the ferry is here now so that's going to give us four minutes to get all of this koa wood onto the ferry that should be enough time let's just get this truck onto the ferry first of all and now we gotta get all of this coal wood onto the ferry before he departs and we gotta make sure we're seated before he departs as well. That's very important. Otherwise we could very well fall off and die and I don't want to lose all my axes. Now I'm trying to get as much coal wood as possible so that we don't have to make this trip again because getting koa wood is quite a headache. It takes a very long time to do. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we lost it. Dang it. Okay, I'll just settle for this branch, and now we definitely got to get onto the ferry and go. I'm not going to risk any more. I guess I'll see you on the other side. All 
Alrighty guys, we have made it to the other side. I'm just gonna go get all of these paintings first and foremost over to the base because I don't want to lose them. If I lose connection right now, I would be so sad. So we definitely wanna make sure we get these onto the base as soon as possible. There we go. Now let's just go ahead and get our koa wood and we will be good to go. Now in case the ferry leaves, I'm just gonna get all of this wood onto the dock so that we don't lose all the wood and have to wait for him to come back. And now we can get this all into our truck. Alrighty guys, that is all of the wood in our truck. It is very precariously packed in there, so we just gotta make sure that we don't bump too much. Hopefully we don't spill any. Yeah, let's just get this all into our sawmill. And oh shoot, uh, we don't want this to be processing in the auto chopper. Let's get these out of the way. We want those to just stay over here. Alrighty guys, we got ourselves a ton of coal wood. This should do us for quite a while. Now I will get some of these actually running through the system because like I said earlier, we do need to use some of it for the alleyway. I'll just get the smallest pieces running up there because we want the bigger pieces to remain over here for storage. And yeah, we should now be good to go. Alrighty guys, we got ourselves a bunch of coal wood. This should be good enough for now. Basically what I wanted to do was basically start on this I'm gonna call it a wooden aqueduct. We kind of have to make this up as we go with, uh, I think, a smooth wall stub. And then, let's see, will this fit underneath? Yeah, that's gonna fit. And yeah, we're basically just gonna do it like this, moving six studs over and two studs down every time. And that will give us a very nice wooden support system for the conveyors. So yeah, something like that. And then I guess we will finish it off with some of these short smooth walls and yeah that should be the other side pretty much identical perfect let's just go ahead and fill that in and yeah there we go that will pretty much be our custom conveyor supports except i want to take this one step further and actually do kind of like an archway over it i think that'll look pretty cool Okay, there we go. It's a little bit hard to see this. It's not very well lit, but hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to see what kind of wedges we need to make this work. Let's see. Is this going to work? I, I'm not sure. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that's not going to work. We can't use 1 slash 4. Let's see about 1 slash 3 wedges. Okay, yeah, those seem to work pretty well. So something like that, and we're just going to do the same for every single gap right here. And just like that, we got ourselves some diagonals. We just got to go ahead and fill all of these in, and it's kind of looking like we might need to go grab some more coal wood. Alrighty, guys, we pretty much got one side completely finished, and then we can start on the other, but we're going to have to go grab some more coal wood. Okay, there we go. Now I'm thinking I'm going to take this one step higher and I think that will be good. Now we just got to go ahead and fill these in and yeah, we're definitely going to need some more coal wood. So let's get that running through the system. Okay guys, I think that is all of the koa wood. Perfect, perfect. Let's get this over here. That is definitely going to be enough. So I'm basically just going to now add some horizontal bars, kind of like what I've done right here. Now I kind of want to shelter this conveyor from the rain. I know the lumber tycoon doesn't have rain, but in real life, there would be some sort of a protection against rain in this situation, I would imagine. So that's what I'm going to build next. Although I do need some walnut wood for that. And that's all the way over there. So let's go grab that. And just like that, we are getting all of this walnut wood. Hopefully that will be enough. Man, this truck is loaded with wood at this point. Okay, now I just need, let's see, probably some three slash four wedges. I'm just kind of guessing, so I don't want to fill in too many of them, but let's just see how that works. Maybe like this. 
Yes, yes, and that will work. Yes, okay, good. We're good. Then I think we should be good to just put those upside down. And we're just gonna move one stud down each time. And if my calculations are correct, that should work out perfectly. Okay, I've kind of set it up in a way that it should make it a little bit clearer what I meant by one stud down each time. It's gonna be a little bit jagged. Hopefully it won't look too weird. Oh, okay, it looks like I only had one more piece of walnut wood, which kind of sucks. We have to go grab some. Okay, we can go ahead and place these. Those will pretty much cap it off now for the big reveal. I kind of want to wait for day before we see how this actually looks. So without looking at it, I'm going to go ahead and continue this right here over and then that's going to apply to this one over here as well and I'm just gonna fill the gap right here basically connecting the horizontal lines to the buildings right now and yes grand reveal that's how the roof looks it looks a little bit jagged but honestly it gives it some character so that's okay alrighty guys now we basically just need to extend these posts all the way over so I'm just gonna get a ton of them. I've actually just realized this is gonna be a hundred times easier if we replace these with skinny smooth walls. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Don't worry, the posts will be recycled. Okay guys, I have put in some skinny smooth walls on each side up until this point. I'm not really sure what to do about this point right here because we have the conveyor and I don't want the skinny smooth walls to get in the way of anything. So I'm just saving that for later. And now to recycle the posts, I'm just going to put them in like slots like what we've done with the pergola with the shop. Alrighty guys, I have finished the post and that pretty much means that the pergola part, at least this part, this section is done. It definitely gives the conveyor a sense of enclosure, although it is not rainproof. But honestly, it would be pretty awkward to extend the roof in the alleyway, so I'm just not going to do that. I'm just going to keep the pergola design. And yeah, now I just got to figure out how we're going to extend this structure in a way that it won't interfere with this conveyor and the doors for the item storage and shop. Okay guys, now I'm just going to go ahead and build the front for this. I kind of want it to look a little bit less like an alleyway and more like there's something here because normally you wouldn't have a conveyor just going through an alleyway that's a little bit weird so I'm just going to make it into something real quick I'm gonna start off by placing down some skinny smooth walls made of koa wood and let's actually just get this koa wood truck over there to just help us and then one on the other side and now I'm just going to put in some short smooth walls like so and yeah, that's looking pretty good, although I feel like it could definitely use an archway. So I'm just going to put in some 1 slash 2 by 1 wedges like so. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's just go ahead and put in some tiny floors to close in those gaps. And let's fill that in. Alrighty, that is looking really good. Now let's just go ahead and extend it upwards. And honestly, this could actually be a genuine building now that I'm looking at it. I was originally just intending it to just be like a facade front, but if we just put stairs in here, it could totally be a building. <laughs> kind of want some spook stairs, to be honest. Okay, so I have put in some stairs right here. Hopefully that won't be too big of an issue. Hopefully with the small pieces that we're feeding in here, they won't get blocked by that. Let's just go ahead and fill those in with spook wood. I think Spookwood will definitely look the coolest here. And now if I actually want my own custom walls, I think we're going to have to make this a little bit slimmer. And for the walls, I'm thinking just some regular old large floors. And let's actually put these stairs a little bit in, probably like right there. And yeah, in terms of like actual space, we are very limited. I want this to be a fairly dark stairway, so I'm going to fill that in with some walnut wood. And we can extend that up with a smooth wall and we can do the exact same thing on the other side now. 
and just like that we've got ourselves some walls that is looking lovely now I kind of want to have some access to the conveyors through this way still so I'm just going to see what we can do probably like a half door that's like facing this way so let's go ahead and fill that in it's just gonna blend in with the floor and whenever I need to access down here I can just do that through this little port right here hopefully nothing's gonna get clogged I'm a bit worried about this that's pretty close but yeah hopefully that won't be a problem and I'm just gonna go ahead and extend this out more and yeah whatever I put right here is gonna be a very cramped building we don't have like any space it looks like we have someone who is wondering if I sell gifts and the answer to that is definitely yes and we got another person asking if we sell gifts at the same time. Wow. Now currently my gift selection is like two, but uh... <laughs> okay, so he just says yes to one of each, so I'll just sell these two to him. Let's get the truck all situated. It's currently filled with koa wood. Hopefully that won't be an issue. This guy's wondering if I have ducks. We only have ducky, and ducky is definitely not for sale. And oh my gosh, no you did not, oh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to sell to this person anymore. I think you guys can probably piece together why I don't want anyone going into the item storage. <laughs> oh, this is so annoying. Finally, we are all cleaned up. That took forever. Alrighty, guys, I was just AFK for a second, and... I am turning off visits. <laughs> oh my gosh, again. Okay, guys, I've come up with a design that I really, really like. This is looking pretty cool. Now I'm just going to fill in this window arch thing right here, and I think we'll be good to go. Now I kind of wanted to use a ladder because I think this is kind of like a mysterious build. It's very dark and dreary, so I think that using a ladder as kind of like bars will make it look really cool. So yeah, let's put that in real quick. Okay, let's put in this ladder right here, and I don't know about you guys, but that is actually looking really, really cool. That looks sick. Okay, I'm actually going to continue that pattern down, which would mean we would need probably a short, smooth wall right here. Uh, I do want to verify that we're actually going to be able to fit a door right there. I kind of want a glass door there. But I don't have a glass door, but it does look like a door will fit there, so that is great. Let's go ahead and grab some spook wood real quick for that. And just like that, that is looking pretty cool. Very mysterious indeed. I think this is working out pretty good so far. We just need to figure out what we're doing for the interior. And of course, we need to get that glass door, which... I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and do real quick. Okay, so we're just gonna need one singular glass door for this. Although I was thinking we should probably get a couple of extra doors so that we can put them on the shop so that we can prevent as much glitching out as possible because honestly I'm quite frankly done with people glitching out my shop. This is so annoying. And yeah, let's just go ahead and add that to the front. That is looking awesome. Now, like I was saying, I was going to add some glass doors right here. This is actually a little bit bigger than I thought it was. We can actually add more than just two doors. I thought it was only big enough for one glass door, but it looks like it is big enough for two. So we're going to need two more for the other side, uh, which I guess I might as well just go ahead and grab right now since we already have the bridge lowered. And just like that, we have bought two more glass doors and that should do it for sure. Alrighty, let's go ahead and place these in on the other side right over here. And now these doors are floating, so we are going to have to add in a bracket underneath them. Now I was thinking we could just use some oak wood, which we have right over here. 
that will do and now we can just put in these boards right underneath so that these doors are not floating anymore and just like that we have put in the final post underneath the doors which means that now I can one second let's get these on the posts these were pushed off by someone but now we have these doors which will prevent that now no one can get into the shop when it is closed which is amazing and now we should have a lot less problems with people going into the shop and ruining things and I can open this when I trust people I guess so I guess I can now re-enable visits hopefully that should be no problem and now I want to kind of work on this area over here. I want to get a roof going right here. And I want to have access to this conveyor through this little alleyway thing. As well as possibly a room here. I don't know what this is going to be. What this building will do. What business it will be. But it will it will be something I'm sure we can find a use for it. Now I am going to add in one more staircase real quick. And now we should be high enough to actually build a little room right here without conflicting too much with this system right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a little floor in here. And I guess we will fill that in with some more spook wood since that is the color of the floor in there. Alrighty guys, that is looking pretty cool. I'm just going to make this area a little bit less, I don't know, unfinished looking. We gotta get some of these in right here. Alrighty guys, I just put in some panels on the sides and that is looking a lot better. It still looks fairly unfinished, but uh, something that I was thinking we could do to kind of make it look a little bit less jagged right here is make it look like these are actually supposed to be supports for the conveyor. Fill that in probably with, let's see, probably walnut again. Just like that. That should be good. Yeah, that looks a lot more, I don't know, intentional. Okay, now I'm going to just close off this roof. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to put in some interesting blueprints because we can't fit a full large floor in there. We're going to have to use a bunch of different ones. And let's just put in a wedge like so. And that'll just kind of rise it up like that. And now we just kind of have to do the same thing but with different blueprints now. And just like that we have finished the roof which is... I'll be honest, this is kind of the most interesting roofs I've ever done. It is definitely very random in some places. And the interior, I mean... I don't know if I've ever seen a skylight like this, but hey, it is pretty cool. In terms of how well it has worked out so far, I think it's actually gone pretty well. So I'm just going to build a back to this building real quick, just like that. And I was thinking we could do some more ladders for windows. And just like that, we got ourselves some windows for this little tiny room with so far no purpose this has got to be one of the most out of the blue builds I've ever done I was not expecting this to be a full-on building but I really like how the interior has turned out it really makes the street come to life I am very proud of it still though I'm not really sure what we're doing about this uh, I mean it could definitely be turned into something I'm just not sure what yet and it is very nice that we still have access to this conveyor system if needed and we can always open these and get items moving from the item storage over to the shop still which is super nice not the prettiest interior I've ever built but hey it's it's very far from done I just need to know what I'm doing with the space before I actually build anything in it so we'll leave that for later so guys, you are going to have to let me know what you guys think I should do with this space and this building all together down in the comments down below because I honestly have no idea and you guys probably have some amazing ideas. So I'm going to leave that up to you guys. I'm sure you guys can come up with something pretty epic for this space. So yeah, once again, if you have any ideas for what to do with this space, just leave them down in the comments down below. It would be an amazing help. 
Anyways, guys, the next thing that we gotta do to the base is we gotta expand our road right here. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I need to get my alt in here. And as always, I can't really record the process with my alt very well because it just lags the recording too much. So I'll be right back with the road complete. Alrighty guys, I have extended the road quite a bit and man does that take a long time to do. That is not fun, but yeah, it is now done. I do have four more gloomy paintings so we can expand the road a little bit more, but I think it's pretty obvious that there is one major thing that is preventing us from expanding the road and that is the fact that we need more land. Now if you recall from the start of the episode, we actually tried to expand expand our land but we were very unsuccessful because the land store just scammed me so we're gonna try again in this server and just cross our fingers that we don't get scammed alrighty yes I would like to expand my land sir and let's go for this plot right here and yes okay we have not been scammed that is a new plot of land which is amazing Let's just get one more, and I am so glad that this server is not scamming me. <laughs> uh, I, that's such a relief. I was fully expecting the land store to scam me right then. <laughs> now we need to extend this curb out all the way, so let's go ahead and grab some birch wood for that. Now we don't have any on the base, so we're going to have to go grab some from the mountain up there. Alrighty guys, that should be plenty of birch wood. Now I'm just gonna go get this processing through the system. And just like that, we got a bunch of birch wood trickling into the truck, which is our cue to start placing down the thin countertops to line the edge of the road. And just like that, we got a ton of blueprints that we can start filling in. And just like that, we have completed the gutter for now. Oh, uh, one second, that's a little bit awkward. We've missed that part. Uh, but anyways, now I'm going to fill in this little gap right here. We are going to need some pine wood for that though, so let me go grab a small piece, probably this piece right here. And just like that, we have put in the skinny smooth walls and thus filled in the gap right there. And that is looking really nice. And now we have, as I said, we have four more gloomy paintings. Obviously, we're going to need a ton more than that to do what we actually want with this. We're going to need to extend the road this way and then this way. And then we also need to extend the road pretty much the entire way. I'm thinking that's how it's going to work, which would require that we expand our land, first of all. But then that is going to be hours and hours and hours of extending the road, which is... Not something that I'm looking forward to, but it's something that will have to happen eventually. But anyways, we have a ton of this birch wood, which we kind of need to get out of the way. It is now just creating a mess, so let's get that going into the system. Let's open up the hatches so that will go into the conveyors, and that will automatically start sorting. But anyways, now what we got to do is I'm thinking we're actually going to be building some street lights because currently the streets are entirely lit up by these little guys, my trusty little work lights, which the name of a work light is literally a work light, a light to work with. It's not supposed to be something that you use after you're done working and honestly the street is starting to be more finished so we need a proper system to actually light it up so i'm gonna go over to fancy furnishings and let's go grab some wall lights and just like that that is six wall lights so now let's get our truck out of fancy furnishings 
and now we gotta select a spot that we want our first street light to go so I was thinking in line with the shop sign would probably be best because we don't want it to block these doors but we would also don't want it to be too far out that it will block this shop sign because we still want it to be pretty visible so I think in line with it or I mean as in line with it as we can get is probably our best bet so I'm gonna go ahead and place down a large floor like so and we're just gonna stack that three high now I'm going to take a skinny smooth wall and place it like this and that's basically just going to help me to place the wire straight and I'm also going to place a skinny smooth wall like that and then I'm also going to take a short smooth wall and place it like that and that is going to be the basic guide for how I'm going to build this. Now let's go ahead and take one of these wall lamps place it down like so and make sure that it is on so that we don't have to like awkwardly jump up and try to turn it on when it's up there if it's already on then it's just gonna be so much easier and now we're just going to place it like so right there that is exactly where we want it and now we're basically just going to be placing in one two three four tiles like so and then we're gonna be destroying all of the other ones right behind it and we're basically just going to repeat that process for all of the spaces that we can put a tile in and just like that I have put in some tiles and I've also destroyed the back blueprints the large floors behind and that will just make it a little bit easier to see what we're doing so now you guys can see that this will help us to place blueprints directly in the middle of this wall lamp and now I need to go grab a couple of things the first thing is a spooky icicle light which we have a ton of if you don't recall from the last episode when we cleaned up the base and we also need a couple of these neon wires okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spooky icicle lights and place them in a straight up and down column like so and that is probably the simplest wire placement okay now that that's in there I'm just going to go ahead and destroy that and place in a small tile now this is a little bit complicated so if you guys are following along just note that it might be a little bit difficult to place a small tile right there and that is likely because the spooky icicle light is blocking it so you'll have to place these spooky icicle lights a little bit differently. Anyways, now I'm going to take a wire and place it like so. And placing it the way I just did gives it kind of like a spike on the top, which I really like. And now I'm going to take a neon wire and I'm going to place it from around about probably here up to probably here I don't know it's pretty hard to get exact estimates that's probably just about good enough I'm trying to place this against blueprints so that'll make it easier to build more street lights in the future now I'm actually going to need a little bit of birch wood so I'm gonna go grab some real quick we just got a ton of it so we have a lot in the auto sorter right now and now I'm going to place two small tiles of it and I'm gonna take a wire from about the center of here up like so and then I'm gonna try to make a spike like this and once that's in I'm just going to destroy the tile behind it and then we can place in our small tiles and finally to finish it off let's just take one final wire and place it from directly in the center of these and take it up like so take the wire over a little bit and then basically just make a curve try to make it look a little bit more supported like so and then one final detail I'm just going to add is a little swirl in the center like so it's a little bit hard to do this in such a tight space 
And yeah, that is our street light complete. It is looking awesome. I am super proud of the result. And yeah, that's going to help to light up the streets, which is awesome as well. Now, in the next episode, I'm going to be adding a few more, so stay tuned for that. But for this episode, that is going to do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. As a reminder, we got this whole system set up over here with the supports all supporting the conveyor which makes the conveyor system that goes over to the wood storage so much more complete and then we built a little building over here we still don't know what to do with it and then we got a shop sign over here we extended the road which took forever and we added a street light and again we're gonna be adding more street lights and more city decorations in the next episode so i can't wait for that but i'll see you in the next video once it's out thank you guys so much for watching see ya